Over the last couple of years, I've created a lot of content on AI and project management. In this video, I'll summarize some of the key elements of that intersection, and I'll put links to all the videos and other content that I've created in the description so you can follow it up. Artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science. It's focused on creating intelligent agents that are capable of reasoning, learning, problem solving, and carrying out tasks in a way that appears to simulate human intelligence and human ways of doing things. There are two main implications of artificial intelligence for project managers. The first of them is the growing range of artificial intelligence enabled tools that project managers will have at our disposal to help us do our jobs. There are a vast array of these tools and they will transform the profession by giving us different ways to get things done in quicker, more efficient and often more effective ways. Most of the content around artificial intelligence and project management, including mine, is focused on this big transformation. However, in the short to medium term, I don't see it as the biggest implication. That will be the implementation of artificial intelligence by the organizations that we work for and with. Every organization, big and small, will need to transform itself so that more and more of its processes are carried out by artificial intelligence enabled software. This will lead to massive changes and sometimes palpable transformations in the way organizations work. And each of those changes and each of those transformations and the implementation of each of those new systems and the processes that accompany it will need to be led by project professionals. These may be leading projects or programs or portfolios of programs or huge transformations. This will be a huge opportunity for the current generations of project professionals who want to build their career in the business world. But both of these implications, the way we do projects and the kinds of projects we do, will be affected by the types of technology available to us. And there are four main types of artificial intelligence technologies that will affect us in the short to medium term. The first of these is machine learning and deep learning. The ability of artificial intelligence to hoover up large amounts of information and then apply it in the way that it operates. The second is natural language processing. The ability of software to deal in the language that humans speak will no longer need to write code. We'll be able to tell our machines what we want them to do, whether it's to answer questions, write documents, summarize information, produce pictures or music or videos, even to write code and for it to understand what we mean in our imperfect way of explaining things. And of course, this will mean that there will be chatbots that we can interact with using natural language. Of course, because computers are getting better at recognizing voice and spoken language. Yes, we'll be able to speak to our computers and to get them to give us good, meaningful answers. And so too will the customers of the organizations that we work with. Service users will be able to ask computers questions and get the answers that they want, furthering the transformation of these organizations. Third is predictive analytics. Artificial intelligence will be able to soak up vast amounts of information, understand in its own way what that information means and use it to anticipate, to predict, to find new solutions to all sorts of problems. In the project world, it'll be able to predict how long projects will take and how much they will cost. But in other domains, it will be able to find solutions to long running problems. And finally, there is automation. Robotic process automation will take the processes that we carry out 
using a range of different tools, whether it's human intelligence or unintelligent software, and mash them all together so that conceptually you'll be able to flick a switch or say a word and the computers will carry out large amounts of tasks sequentially and correctly. They'll increasingly be able to consider conditions and make intelligent choices so that they won't just follow a single strand of process, but be able to make choices about how the process will diverge at different points to reach the right outcome. Within our own domain of project management, these kinds of capabilities will have many impacts. Let's look at seven examples. The first is in project planning and scheduling. AI-driven estimation is only the start. Already today, there are AI tools for which you can give them a tender or a specification required by a potential customer, and they will draft a project plan to meet that need. It won't be a finished plan. It will need human intervention to assess it, but it will often be better as a first draft than humans could create in several weeks. Yet it will create it in several minutes. Linked to this is resource management. AI will be able to do intelligent resource allocation, looking at all the resources available to it, all the time slots in which those resources could work, and find optimum solutions to use those resources effectively and get the project done as quickly as possible. As databases improve, risk management will become a big role for artificial intelligence. It will be able to identify risks, estimate likelihoods and impacts, and draft mitigation plans. And of course, one thing that artificial intelligence will be really good at is data-driven decision-making. So decision support will become a key role for artificial intelligence, not just in the project-based world, but throughout organisations. We're also starting to see artificial intelligence supporting us in team communication and collaboration tools. We have automated monitoring, status updates and reporting. And we have AI-based virtual assistants in the form of chatbots and small RPA, robotic process automation tools. Task automation is itself a big area where artificial intelligence will help us. It will be exceptionally good at handling routine administrative tasks like document management and analysis of data and preparing reports, graphs and summaries of what it finds. And finally, artificial intelligence will help us to see into the future with predictive analytics and forecasting. This will give us more accurate, more reliable timelines and budgets for our projects. It'll give us early warnings of potential delays and cost overruns. And the trend analysis that it creates will allow for continuous improvements. And no doubt it will be suggesting some of those improvements to us. All of this will have tremendous benefits for the project profession. We'll see increased productivity and efficiency through the automation of routine tasks, improved accuracy in forecasting and estimation, enhanced decision-making capabilities, better resource utilisation, and ultimately, because of all of this, greater levels of innovation. I foresee that the next 10 years are going to be very exciting for the project profession, and we may well see more change in the next 10 years than we have in the last 20. And that includes the development of agile working. However, this comes with its own challenges. And there are a number of things that we need to consider if we're going to get all of this right. Firstly, AI requires good data. Therefore, data availability and crucially data quality are key considerations for implementing any AI solutions. Second, there are huge ethical and governance considerations. If AI is going to be making our decisions for us, then do we understand how it's making those decisions and what it is basing those decisions upon? Indeed, humans are biased in the way we make decisions, but so too is AI, because it has been programmed by humans 
and given data sets that were generated by humans and selected by humans. Bias in AI is already a major ethical question mark. It's one we need to resolve, but don't yet have the tools or understanding to do so properly. How we integrate all of this into existing project management tools is one question. How we develop our methodologies to adopt all of this and adapt to it and to make the best possible use of it is another. All of this will, of course, require upskilling. Project managers will have to learn to adapt quickly and take on new skills and new understanding if we're to keep relevant. And the reality is that there may be some job displacement. Because AI can do some of the roles that project professionals do, it's likely that those roles will no longer be available to human beings in some contexts. And because some of these roles are the more junior roles, we have to ask the question, how will project professionals learn their craft if the things that we have done historically to learn our craft are now being done by computers? And finally, because of all of the ethical considerations that we've got, there is going to be a need both for governance structures within organisations and regulatory and legislative structures outside of organisations to deal with all this change. This will change society. And of course, the project profession is rooted in the society and often the projects that we do are driven by the society in which we live and work. So what are some of the essential skills that project professionals like you will need to thrive in this era of massive artificial intelligence driven change? The first is what we might call data literacy. The ability to properly understand data collection, data analysis, presentation of data, and crucially, its interpretation. Second is AI literacy, a confident familiarity with AI technologies, AI concepts, AI ethical constraints, and all of the applications that artificial intelligence throws up. Next is problem solving and critical thinking. This isn't new, but there are new problems to solve and new challenges to think about critically. We need to adapt to those challenges and find innovative ways of incorporating the AI's capabilities into the work that we do. Fourth, we need to generate a deep ethical awareness. We need to understand the ethical implications of the different forms of AI that we're both using in our job and implementing for our clients and organisations. And we need to find ways of ensuring that we use that AI responsibly. This means building appropriate governance structures for our projects and as part of our change initiatives, building appropriate governance structures within our organisations. And finally, I'd highlight collaboration and communication as essential skills in the AI age. We need to work effectively with the AI tools that are available and we need to collaborate effectively with the AI experts when we're going to be reliant on for building the AI capabilities that we need both within our project practice and within our project programs and change initiatives. And finally, at some point, we're going to need to hone our skills for communicating with our AI tools, possibly collaborating with artificially intelligent agents that may be contributing to our project in the same way as we are. Before I look at future trends and how you can prepare yourself to take advantage of them, I'd like to mention two things. Firstly, I have a lot of free content about artificial intelligence and project management, both on my website and on my YouTube channel, and I will put links to all of it in the description. But second, I have a low priced premium product which collates all of that information in a convenient form. 
and adds in a lot of premium content which is not available freely on those channels. Also within this I keep a running record of all of the very best content that you can read, watch and listen to from a range of high reliability sources that I curate on a weekly basis. This will enable you to stay up to date with the latest thinking in a wide range of domains. I pick up on different industry sectors and different types of AI technology and I pick up information that is targeted at project professionals and other professionals within the organization so that you can expand your career, expand your thinking and your horizons. I'll put a link to that product in the description too. There are a lot of future trends that are going to come out of this AI revolution. But thinking about it carefully, I think there are three that we most need to think about as project professionals. The first is AI collaboration in project teams. And because we're increasingly going to be using tools that have AI built into them, at some point, we'll start to feel like we are collaborating with the AI and it is part of our team. We know that humans are not great at incorporating other ways of seeing the world and people of other types. So we have to work hard to build diversity in our teams and make people feel welcome and included. This is going to be a challenge to make AI a proper part of our team. Second, with this wealth of AI capability, we're going to see new ways to personalize the way we do projects. We'll be able to use AI as leaders, managers, supervisors, coaches and mentors, which will enable us to work as project professionals in new and better ways. And thirdly, that will evolve the range of project manager roles and the way that we carry those roles out. I predict that in 10 years time, we may not see the same set of roles within the project profession as we see now. Job adverts may not ask for project coordinators, project administrators, even project managers. They may ask for different roles that we don't yet know about. All of this means that you need to prepare yourself. You need to develop your AI literacy. You need to identify potential AI applications for your projects to investigate them, understand them, try them out, and then move on and try new applications until you find the set of applications that works for you, until new applications appear and supplant those. As a result, you need to pilot new tools and new methodologies, new ways of doing your project. You need to apply agile principles, not just to the way that you do projects, but the way that you do project management. This means staying up to date and ahead of your colleagues. As AI advances, you need to be there with it. Otherwise, you'll be left behind. And finally, if you are to be a thought leader, you need to contribute to developing guidelines for AI implementation in your organizations and in your professional bodies. AI may not change everything, but it will change a lot. And if you want to build the best career you possibly can for yourself, that means staying up to date and ahead of your colleagues. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management videos for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of them. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.